I, I thought you were going to get lost. Uh, why do you think I'm going to get lost? It, it seems like Ghana here now. <laughs> it is so I, I mean, your, your, your fans are going to be shocked oh my God. to see you here because they warned me yesterday, hey boy, uh -huh. you need to get this girl on your channel. Oh. I reached out to you and then you responded. Come on, good to so, see you. You are so amazing. <laughs> Thank you. It's such like a surprise. It's a like, oh my God. I can't believe it. Shout out to my wonderful subscribers. Yeah, and I, I, I reached out to you because they uh -huh. were telling me, a lot of guys were telling me, hey, yeah. you got to meet NY's Corner. Is it NY? I'm sorry. It's Nye. Nye. Nye's Corner because that's a nickname for my real name's Niger, but people call me Nye for short all my life. So I'm used to being called Nye and it's easier. And what are you Niger. doing in Ghana? <laughs> I mean, just the most high, the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, you the just Lord come destiny, inside. Destiny, 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 destiny brought you to God. And yes. how long have you been here? I've been here for three years now. July, July 27th, okay, was our landing. Me and my mom, we came July 27th, 2017. I know, right? Hey. <laughs> you know, I've got a lot to talk to you about. Yeah. So you know what, like this place, I don't want to take you to my room. I know a lot of people are going to be scared if I take you to my room. So I've got a don't rooftop. Be don't, don't be scared. You know, they, they judge me all the time, you know, when they see, Whoa. oh, what am I? Uh, oh, and they think, oh my goodness. But you know what, i got a beautiful rooftop in here. Oh, this is where I hide out anytime I'm in a crowd. Don't tell anybody, okay? <laughs> like, hush, hush. Don't tell anybody. So I'm just going to take you to the rooftop and we're going to have a conversation. Are you ready for me? I am ready. Let's Oh, do this. see, I've already hugged you and I'm still talking about Corona. Thank you. You're welcome. I mean, I, I just want to welcome you <laughs> to my favorite oh, so rooftop. Yeah, you see, have you, you came to Ghana in the mm -hmm. year 2017? Yes. Okay, 2017. Okay, yeah, that was the runway, you know. That so, was the that, runway. So, so that was the runway. So here you can see the airport because oh. I really can't wait to fly out of the country. Really? You can't wait to fly out of the country? <laughs> so I, 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 yeah, because I travel all the time and now it's been five months. I've never stepped out of Ghana, so I decided to stay in here right. and monitor the plane that are flying in. My president is saying that uh -huh. the borders are closed, but he's lying, man. What'd you say he's lying? He's lying like, because I, I, I live here and I see planes <laughs> flying in every single day. I know, anyway, huh? I just have to accept the lies. It's okay. It's Aww. all good. But hey, good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks again so much for taking the time out to, to interview me. I know my hair is like all oh, over the place. Don't worry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, like, I think mm -hmm. people out there love you a lot yeah. because the number of messages that I was receiving, hey, mm -hmm. go meet Nice Corner. Yes. Nice Corner. I hope I mentioned it right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, you are an African-American. Yes, correct. I am an African-American. I'm from California, born and raised. And um, the journey of, of me coming here is really interesting. It all started around 2014, 2015. Okay. My mom, she came to me and out of the blue she told me you know what i've been in prayer you know because we have a connection with with the lord with the most high and she and the most high dropped in her spirit it's time to leave america she didn't know where it came from she didn't know how it happened and he told her specifically ghana and my mom is like okay you know are you am i getting a bad taco am i getting the wrong email <laughs> lord are you really telling me to move to africa number one and ghana and she asked for about a few confirmations. And the final confirmation from him was when my grandmother passed away. She oh. took care of her for about seven and a half years. She was a dementia, Alzheimer's patient. And she, and really that was the confirmation when the Most High took her and called her home. And I, I, I swear to you, a month, a month later, you know, we packed up, we sold everything within that month because the most high dropped in my spirit to come with her. She left it up to me, you know, do, do you want to stay here or, you know, do you want to come with me to Ghana? And I was in prayer myself and he told me, no, you need to come with her. You need to be a support system to her. And I swear to you, everybody was looking at me like, Najer, 
Are you crazy? They have no internet there. Uh, it's war torn there. Are you sure you want to go to Ghana? And I'm like, where's all this coming from? And I know it's the misconception. So people are looking at us like we were crazy for doing it. And but we didn't care. We didn't care. We just sold everything we had and we jetted here. You're mm -hmm. telling me that your friends were mm -hmm. saying that you are crazy. Yes, they but I just want to ask you, you never thought that you're getting crazy following your mom because most high revealed himself to your mom. Mm -hmm. Not you. Right. Right. It's 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 a really long story. I have to say though, I, I went into prayer myself about it. And I was like, should I follow her? Should I not follow her? You know, I'm really young. You know, leaving America, leaving all that I know, going to a, a country that I've never been. This was truly a faith walk for me and my mom. We've never been here. We never visited. We didn't know anybody. We came here, you know, with, we didn't come here with a huge bag of money, but just enough. And, you know, so really I would say that kind of our situation was a testimony, you know, and a testimony for other people who, you know, may be afraid or may feel, oh, well, I don't have this together. I don't know anybody. I don't have a gig, you know, together, you know, but if something is being placed upon your heart, if you're, if that inner voice is telling you to, to make that journey and to make that move, no matter where it is, you know, abroad, anywhere, Africa, Asia, anywhere, definitely follow that voice because you will be provided for so I'm a testimony to you know the goodness of you know just listening to that inner voice and you've been here for the past three years yes <laughs> how has the experience been like so far it has been it has gone from scary to crazy to you know exciting oh, just a roller coaster oh, ride okay a roller coaster yeah ride. But I feel like exciting <laughs> exciting you know you sound so Excited. I don't know why. I mean, it, it sounds so hype. I'm, I'm a very hype guy, uh -huh. but I feel like you're more hype than me. Really? <laughs> How could that even be possible? Okay. <laughs> like, there's something I want to ask you, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I really want to put my feet inside the pool. Oh, sounds you know good. Swim, I don't. I don't, but I love the water. It doesn't oh, that sound okay. weird. Let, let's put. Our oh feet yeah. Let me, let me continue let's my conversation. Okay, yeah? I'm down for it. <laughs> <laughs> Right, take a refreshing dip, like put your feet in the refreshing pool. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. I have to like roll my uh, my jeggings up. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I, I, I just want to know, um, mm. you're so young just like me. Yeah. So definitely coming to Africa. Yeah. Um, being a young girl, mm -hmm. you might, I mean, come in contact with, I mean, I mean, you wouldn't meet an African American young guy in here who is trying to. I mean, yeah. you know what I'm trying to talk about. Yeah, what do you mean the dating thing? Exactly. Oh, I go through all that on oh. my channel. Yes. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. You have to check out your channel. Yeah, you know, I mean, I really we cover we channel. cover like a myriad of topics. You know, Nice Corner is about, you know, it's an information center for you know people who are looking to come from the diaspora. I just want to help people and provide information because when we first came here we didn't have that you know but there's so many videos out on Ghana exactly. and you know so but it's always good getting different perspectives and especially me being here as a young woman you know hearing some of my experiences with dating relationships oh. sex we get into that too oh. yeah we do so we get into that too States, when I was in college, I dated um, a guy from Ghana. Yes, I did. Yeah, I did. We met in college, but it didn't quite work out. Yeah. When you, when you came to, I mean, that mm. one, it's not um, the raw Ghana man. The uh -huh. one in the diaspora. The one in here is the raw. <laughs> that's one. like, listen, that's the homegrown, right? Exactly. Okay. You know, if you eat chocolate mm -hmm. out there, that's not a raw chocolate. It's not authentic. The authentic it's chocolate are in Ghana, you know. <laughs> So, I mean, have you tasted the mm. raw Ghana chocolate before? I, I have. Aww. I have. Aww. I'm not going to lie. Sweet. I'm not going to lie. You Aww. know, on my channel, I even, you know, have a conversation with my ex-boyfriend, who is Ghanaian. And um, I met him, you know, uh, shortly after we came here. It was probably like a month after we came here. Wow. We met. And, you know, I... It was a really good conversation, really talking about kind of like the differences, our ups, our downs, and ultimately why we didn't work out. Yeah, yeah, it's just one of those things. <laughs> it's just one of those things. But I mean, on my channel, we get into, you know, topics such as laws and customs of marriage here, because, you know, a lot of us coming from the diaspora are looking to find a partner. 
you know, here that are single and what and whatnot, but the laws and customs are different. So I think that that's really, you know, important so, to bring so, out. So, you know, I, I know so many young um, African women in the diaspora who are looking forward to, yeah. I mean, have someone in here. I think I've even hooked a few people up. Oh, so you're a matchmaker? Uh, ah, no, not yet, <laughs> but I'm doing it privately. So if I look out for, look out I, for his I, I, matchmaking no, 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 service. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> that one was an emergency. <laughs> so I had to make it happen. You know, okay. I had to make it happen because it was really an emergency. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to know, like, if you should advise mm -hmm. a sister or a yeah. brother who is mm -hmm. looking forward to date somebody on the continent, mm -hmm. I mean, what ad advice will you give all them? Well, you know, I have only been here three years, but I've, you know, interviewed a lot of people and what I've personally been through myself. And, you know, I really feel, all I, need, all I have to say is do your research. Do your research, make sure the person is into you because scam culture here is real. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. You know, you want to you want to really make sure that you really know that person. Make sure that that person loves you for you. You know, and also, you know, in terms of like the families, the tribes, you know, the religions, you know, make sure that you're the person that you're getting with. Make sure you know the customs here. And because they're different from when you're coming from the West. And see, I didn't know this when I first got here. Of course not. You know, and a lot of people who are just coming may not know. So I would just say do your due diligence, you know, and look for love. Love does happen on my channel too. I've even interviewed some really, really beautiful, beautiful couple and the ladies from the diaspora and the um, guy is from here in Ghana and they're just a lovely couple. So look at their video, you know, I want to paint a well-rounded picture of, of Ghana. Just so, you know, people coming here will know as much information as I can give. Of course, I don't know everything. And what is the name of your channel? My ch the name of my channel is Nice Corner, N-Y apostrophe S Corner. And also you can, I also have an Instagram account which is my full name, N-Y-J-A-I-R-E. And also on Facebook, it's Nice Corner as well. You all should make sure you go to the YouTube channel and subscribe. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. Please click on it, go subscribe, let's support that. You know, we have like about 1.8 here, so we can get it to 5,000 today. Oh, right. that's so sweet of you. You've, you're awesome. You really, I just wanna just give just a shout out to you. You know, the oh. awesome work that you're doing. It, it, you know, like it's not easy. Mm -hmm. my, my main intention is to show Africa to the world. And right. I feel like I cannot do this by myself. Mm -hmm. We need mm -hmm. people like you to put Africa out. So mm -hmm. when my subscribers introduce your channel to me, I don't mind. I just have to reach out to you. And then, like, look at us just yesterday. And today you are here. Right. And you've been just so awesome. You know, so you, you've nice just been just awesome. You're Thank you're you. wonderful. You really are. You're absolutely wonderful. And, Thank you. you know, you, you deserve this and more. Oh. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh making you blush. <laughs> but hey, you know, I just want to know, yeah? Yeah. If, you know, okay, let me let me just go this way. Mm -hmm. We have so many young Africans in the diaspora. Yes. Right? Right. And they have some kind of misconception about the continent. Mm -hmm. She will have been here. Yes. If you should say something to educate people like that, what would that message be? That message would be, don't believe everything that the media tells you, okay? Because that secondhand um, information, it's really good to witness something firsthand. You know, not hearsay, you know, you will, it's not a thing where, oh my gosh, it's war torn, or, you know, it's a scare, you know, just being here and, you know, that narrative that we're used to getting in the States with like kids with, you know, bellies, flies on their face, stuff like that, that is the wrong narrative. And I really feel also about my channel, I believe, and bringing people from the diaspora mm. and people on the continent together mm. so we can have these in-depth conversations and beat down all the misconceptions because it's it's not real you so know you, you're trying to bridge the gap between yes. africans on the continent and africans in the mm -hmm, absolutely let me ask you what are the kind of differences that you think is between us the differences between africans mm. on the continent and africans in the diaspora because you are an african born in the diaspora Right. I would even call you an African American. Uh -huh, right, uh, okay. exactly. So, what do you think are the, some of the differences between Africans born on the continent mm -hmm. and Africans born in the uh, diaspora? I feel some of our main differences is um, background, how we were brought up. You know, we were brought up, brought up different, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that you know we can't come together. Thank you. So, I really feel that you know it's just really just differences in background. 
you know, that make us, that make us different. But, you know, even since I've been here, I have clicked with so many people here in Ghana that, you know, where young people, where I'm like, you know what, we're actually not that different at all. You know, but like I said, I really feel that it boils down to backgrounds, you know, how we were brought up, how we were raised, you know, even like our outlook being from the West and people here being on the continent, you know, it's just, it's just really outlook on me. And similarities? Mm -hmm. um, I would say some similarities would be um, how we, how we party. <laughs> similarities? <laughs> Hey, nice man. It was nice meeting you. Hey, um, thank you wonderful. so much for coming. And uh, please, you all should go check out the YouTube channel. Make sure you like the video, share it to another young, beautiful girl from the diaspora. We need more of them so that we're able to match each other.